Yeah, it's called pretty privilege. Pretty privilege? Pretty privilege. It's a scientific term used by doctors. So what happens when you have a really great face, a full head of hair, sexy eyebrows, tight ass, quarter sized nipples, eight inch penis. It's all the traits that gay men unanimously like. And I happen to have all of them. I don't know if I like all of those qualities, honestly. Well, you wouldn't get pretty privilege. Why is that? Well, you have to be born into it, like me. This one time in college, I was chatting with my physics professor in my car behind the old abandoned chilies. I was feeling really insecure. And I said to myself out loud, one day I'm gonna move to Los Angeles, grow out my facial hair for three days, wear nothing but sexy tank tops to show off my nipples. And you know what he said to me? What did he say to you? He said, you're already wearing a tank top. And I thought, wow, I have pretty privilege. Sounds epic. Yeah, but it has disadvantages too, you know. It's not all roses, money, and cock. Oh, oh no. Like, how so? Well, I'm always invited to sex parties that I don't have time for. People just offer me drinks, drugs, jobs. I always have to update my Amazon wish list because it keeps getting fulfilled. Money just gets Venmo to me randomly. People always ask me for my OnlyFans page and I don't have one yet. And you know, just once. Once, I would like to know how it feels like to have to go in for a job interview. It sounds like you're bragging. I'm not. I once tried stand-up and everyone just started jerking off. Anyway, free things sound great. I love getting free things. Yeah, I mean, you probably get free health care. I don't. Remember that physics professor I was telling you about? Well, yeah, it was just a minute ago that you brought him up. He gave me an A-. minus. I never even showed up to class. I mean, he did touch my inner thigh, but... So you think there are disadvantages to the privilege and the advantages that you feel that you've received from your looks? Yeah, my pretty friends and I talk about it all the time. It's really sad. Honestly? I think you sound like a moron. I am not. I don't feel bad for you. I don't think that you're privileged, and I don't think that you should be whining about your perceived advantages to what you think is better looking than other people. But look at me. People are intimidated by the way I look. Okay, well, I'm funnier than you and maybe some other people, but I'm not gonna go around acting like it's full of problems. It's science. I don't know about that, but I do think that you're right, that the people that look like people in pornos and underwear ads and TVs and movies maybe do get some special treatment and maybe some more attention. And maybe they did just click on this video because they like the way that you looked in your signature tank top. And, and don't get me wrong, I think that you should be confident and proud with the way that you look just the way I think everybody should. But you going on about the taxing disadvantages that you think that there are is kind of cringeworthy to listen to. Well, fine. You're funny privileged and I'm pretty privileged. We're both equally privileged. Sure. But pretty fades and I'm gonna be funny forever. Yeah, people don't jerk off when I do stand up, baby. Congrats.